Hi, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading is for Aquarius, Elemental Signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus between now and the middle of September. This is for Aquarius. If you're just finding the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your support. It is appreciated. And as always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, 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 up button. If you hate the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. These are complimentary readings. It's just a general type of reading to look at the elemental sign of Aquarius. Let's see where they are. Hopefully it's accurate. If it's not accurate, I'm probably not the reader for you. You can go find another one. There's a lot on here. I have a particular style of reading where I read the energies. I also look at karmic issues and try to get key points that you can use to bend and play with the energies as much as possible. So this is for Aquarius, elemental sign and energy between now and the middle of September. Let's see where we are for Aquarius. We have... Major Arcana the Hermit. A lot of Aquariuses have been in a situation where they are really thinking over their life and what's happened up until now with their life. And they do have this feeling of Time, like really addressing how they've spent their time up until now, who they've spent their time with. Time is a very strong issue and theme for Aquarius over the next two weeks, but really over the next month, and it has been the case. They're really concerned about their time, even how they spend their time, but also what now they will do with the time they have left here, here on this plane. So it seems to be quite a quite profound issue. Uh, they're thinking a lot about who they want to spend their time with and how they want to spend their time. They're also concerned about the stability for their future, for their future life. Um, and they want stability in this now. They want to be much more conventional in a lot of respects. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups. And we'll take those two because I just pulled them. And we have the Seven of Cups and Justice. So the ends, the means achieve the ends, the ends achieve the means. Like what they've done up until now hasn't really worked out how they anticipated. And the Aquarius is in a situation where they're really trying to rethink things about what they've done and how they should proceed forward because things haven't really worked out how they want it. And I feel like there is this certain element of envy or it's like they envy others who have a certain type of stability in life and relationship, work or money that they didn't achieve or that they did achieve at some point, but it wasn't solid for them. And now they're really wondering how to turn this around. Now, it can be the case. That some Aquarius is out there who wrote the fence on some matters. Uh, it's like things have closed down to them now because they were riding the fence and they never made a decision or they never made a choice. Or they try to play both sides or they try to play people against each other. And it's like this is not building up a good karmic thing for them. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see, guys. 
we have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups. Some Aquariuses may be moving away from where they are now for a new place of living. They may be moving away for a new job assignment, new work, a uh, lover or potential lover or maid or love interest, relationship interest may be asking the Aquarius to move to them, but the Aquarius is not wanting to move away from where they are. In any case, if the Aquarius is being asked to move, they really don't want to move away from where they are. They don't really want to make a change in their life. They want It's like they want to pick up a different lifestyle or situation or life scenario and put it where they stand in their place now. They don't want to move away from their comfort. They do not want to move away from their lifestyle. They do not want to move away for, from their work or how they are now into something else. There's a type of fear around this. And if they hear about other people doing this, they can be a bit uh, like wishing that they could do the same, but not really wishing they could do the same. If that makes sense. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Major Arcana, the Hero Bunt, with the Major Arcana Hermit. So again, they want this type of they want to change their life, but it's almost like they don't want to do the work that it is required to change their life. They don't want to do the work. You know, they have to, but they don't want to put the energy into this. Not right now, it can change. I'm just saying over the next two weeks, they're not really motivated. We're going to pull one more of these, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the right away and then maybe pull a few of the saw off. Let's go ahead and take this. Look at that. So, <laughs> this is so funny. We have the Ten of Cups and it's on top of the Ten of Wands. Now, it can be that you do have a group of Aquarius who are ultimately extremely pleased about their situation in life. And they don't want for much. And they can be creating a bit of artificial drama just because they're a bit bored. It can happen. But in the end, they're actually very happy with the direction of their life and where they are right now. Looks like much ado about nothing here somehow. We have the Three of Swords. I feel like things that should have been perfect and should they've done everything right. Things that should have been perfect around family, life, relationships, it just isn't. It just wasn't. But it's not really clear why. And this is also perplexing. Aquarius. We have the Ten of Cups now with the Seven of Cups and Justice. Someone never really committed to the Aquarius Elemental Sign and Energy the way they should have or the way they indicated that they did or would. Feels like a lot of falsity to it or fakeness. And the Aquarius tied up their energy. They hitched their wagon to this person, and the person turned out to just be a rather big disappointment because it's like they didn't keep their promises, and they didn't keep the promises that they made for their future together. Oh, we have the Eight of Cups over here with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So just um, feeling very much like 
whatever this was with this person, like they are really ready to dip now. They're really ready to go because they know that the person is going to talk a lot or make a lot of trouble for them in the future because they always have in the past. So it's kind of like um, throwing throwing their cards in or giving it like throwing their cards in. Uh, throwing their cards on the table and giving up. Look at that. We have the four of cups with the five of cups. I just don't want to deal with this no more. Aquarius. Let's see how with the Aquarius. We're going to pull a few more to see what energy is coming towards the Aquarius over the next couple of weeks because We have the King of Wands. I feel like that's just clearly a helper. Someone to help the Aquarius Elemental sign in energy or situation to help them take their mind off of this relationship strife. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who's a friend who's coming in to help them take their mind off of their situation or help them. They can also be helping them move and plan their move or plan uh, their break away from this situation or person. We have the we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like that's a fire sign energy who's just really disappointed. The Aquarius or a hot air ignitable, easily argumentative personality that just is getting on the Aquarius' nerves. This can also be at work, just somebody who's just making a lot of trouble for the Aquarius. We also have the Six, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some kind of a helper coming in. I'm sorry, that's the Nine of Pentacles, guys. But nevertheless, it's, it's still a helper that's coming in. And I feel like, too, with the sign of pentacles here, that the Aquarius may really just opt to be alone. At least for now. If you're looking, cross-watching for an Aquarius, and they have had too much stress around trying to build up or come into a relationship or bond with you, they're just going to opt to be by themselves. We have now the nine of pentacles, and we have the nine of wands. Again, they're just going to opt out of all of this. Especially if it's getting too dramatic. Look at that. We have Major Arcana Death. So they're definitely going to opt out of drama and headaches, yeah, of any kind. Because they just don't feel like they have the energy for this right now. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus Elemental Sun, Energy. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys here again next month. Bye bye.